to Sally Entertainment. I'm your host, Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got Taekwondo. Live from Richmond Oval in beautiful Richmond, British Columbia, this is the BC Masters Cup. With me, not so classic, but still a co-host, Aaron Green. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome back to Sally. If you've clicked on this video and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get into some Taekwondo. Green in the red, we got Portello. In the blue, we got Munez. And I want to take a second to apologize in advance take if I it. mispronounce your names. We're just a couple dusty beer league hockey commentators. Dusty. We are dusty. That being said, Green, I love that. They touch gloves. Round and one, fight! There we go, Portello in the red, Munez in the blue, and Green, right off the bat, Portello, I remember him. He got He's the one that got kicked so yes. bad in the junk last yes. year's competition. He went down, he was throwing all those kicks, chaining them together. I remember. And uh, he got clipped, I remember that. But he looks sharp, so I'm excited to see how he does in this competition against Munez, Whoa, who we just look at seen. These guys. They're throwing. Munez, we just seen uh, yep. win, didn't we? Yep. We just seen him take the victory against... Uh, uh, very high level competitor Portello. Hopefully we're not butchering your names too bad, but it looks like Munez is on the board first. Munez throwing a left, a hard one at that, and they clinch. They set right back up. Munez with octagon control. Uh, oh man, hits him with a uh, right yep. kick to the face, right in the nose, and follows up with the left. None of those hit on the scoreboard, but they sure hit for the viewers. <laughs> they hit for the viewers. You know, we gotta start writing stuff like that down because. We, I like now we would know who he beat. We could have said who he beat. That's okay, man. That's man. okay. It's, all right, it's a learning process, man. Oh, man. Munya just clipped Portello right in the face, it looked like, in the chin area. Oh, oh. there's those spinning kicks from for Portello, but none of them landed cleanly, so no points are going to be registered. Nope. Oh, Munya has clipped him cleanly, Green. Did you see that head I kick? I did. You could hear it. Look at that left. Oh. Man, actually, now that we slow it down, I don't know if he clipped him cleanly. He clipped him. Did he clip him? Oh, he clipped him. It looks like um, Portello might have just dodged it. I, th I it looked like it just, It might have just skimmed his helmet, and that's why he got the point. Maybe, but it looked like his helmet turned, like at, it got him. At first glance, I thought he ate that like a shin in the <laughs> face, but at the second glance, I don't think he did. As they, uh, You're probably up. right. And that's going to be the end of round one. The winner going to Munez. Really, really, really close fight that was. Yeah, Green, you know, points aside in this first round, I think that was very evenly matched yeah, me right too. now. Me too. Um, it could go either way. Portello needs to score points going into the second fight. He needs he's to win this step round. It up now. Yeah, he needs to go on the attack. He's, he's got to. Uh, he's got I to, feel like he's going to. He's got to go out firing, Green. Yep. Um, I mean, but they're both high-level competitors, so they clearly respect each other's skills. 100%. Uh, Portello was thrown there, and a couple nice kicks, but I think he went out of bounds, so the points are going to go to Munoz. That was a nice spinning kick by Portello. It hit him in the lower back yep. area, so it didn't register on the board, but it registered with us viewers here <laughs> at Sally Entertainment. <laughs> Everything registers with oh, us. Oh, man, a little bit of a collision. It looks like it went face-to-face -face there. And again, Portello went out of bounds, so Munoz has a couple points by default here. Yep, because he pushed him out or whatever, right? Yep, yep. Exactly. Uh, that's the that is the benefit of holding that octagon control, which Munez has 100%. been predominantly holding. Now look at that. Uh, Portello scores with that. Now oh. Portello is on the attack, throwing kicks. He's got a couple. But, uh, All of a sudden, he just turned it up. Yeah, and he's got it in him, uh, Green. We know he does. We've seen him fight before. Yep. He's a very high-level competitor, and he can turn it up in any second. We know he can start chaining together those kicks in an instant. He can yes. snap of the fingers, and he can be on go mode. Yep. Uh, but it's Munez right now. He's, there's obviously a lot of respect here. Uh, Tons. It seems like there's lots, right? Yeah, yeah there really is. Um, there Nobody's they go. Nobody's making like anything dumb. They're not just. They're not just throwing out useless kicks. They're trying to be precise. They're being cautious because none of them want to get clipped by the other person's yep. footwork. And right there, it looks like Munez might have hurt him a little bit low. Green looked like it as he follows up with a punch. They clinch. He's trying to push him out of bounds, but he didn't get it. Uh, Portillo got a point there. I'm not too sure why, this but it's a really it's a close really, fight. Really, really close fight right now, Green. It's a one-point match right yep. now. Portillo needs to do something to force it into overtime, and he doesn't get that last point. So this fight is going to go to Munez. Now, Green, take all point system aside. What are your thoughts on that fight? Oh, man, I don't know. That was too yeah, too, close for me really to judge, fight. man. It was to, just uh, back and forth constantly. Like, look, it was within a point. Yeah, Green. Well, that first right? round, my thoughts are uh, that first round went to Munez. The second one could have gone either way. I think Maybe even Portillo won the second. Could have. Uh, I think it should have been forcing it in overtime. I feel like sometimes those sensors aren't picking things up. That's just all point systems aside. Yes. Thank you and good night for Richmond Oval. Like and subscribe.